Hey everybody, this is Jack Malice again with Malice Corp, and we're gonna do another flashpoint for you with Swotor. Uh, help me out here. How do you, how do you say this again, uh, Robert? Kadami Min. Yeah. It's yeah, whatever. Kadami you, Kadamin Min Min you, Kadam you. We're gonna do it on veteran mode. Uh, and as always, I got Super Hoovy and Freak, and then joining us tonight is Robert and Eric. You guys, want to say hello and tell everybody what you're going to be playing? Well, I'm going to give healing one more shot. It's been working so far, so, you know, only two deaths out of four flashpoints. I think we're doing okay. And she's going to be healing on her, her Merc. And uh, how about you, Robert? Uh, Ven Vengeance Juggernaut deeps and Eric uh, I'm Eric and I'm playing my uh, Imperial agent and I'm gonna be as I was called earlier a snipper standing in the back and trying not to die <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it start the convo and uh, uh, try not to stink up the place we'll see what we can do oh this is veteran mode by the way uh, me and uh, Robert are primarily PV peers, and uh, we're just kind of hanging out and having some fun with some flashpoints. So yeah, he knows more about this than I do. So we'll we'll just try to figure it out. And I'm I'm again 86 er and I'm a PT tank, so we'll, we'll go with it. Lord Nalgus, you wish to speak with me? That's correct. Kadamimu Five is an industrial world used by the Republic as a weapons depot the so-called war chest of the Outer Rim. Now the planetary governor faces charges of corruption and has declared independence rather than stand trial. This is our opportunity. What are the odds of buying the governor's loyalty? <laughs> Slim, according to his intelligence profile. The man is a fool and an egotist. If we acquire or eliminate Kadamimu's weapon stockpiles, three Republic sectors will be left undefended. Conquering the planet is secondary. Nonetheless, we must act before Republic troops put down this rebellion. Or before the Governor readies the Kadamiman defenses. What sort of arsenal can the Governor access? What are we facing? The stockpile consists of over 80,000 missiles designed to obliterate capital ships. As we speak, the Governor is overriding Republic security protocols and arming the planetary missile batteries. Its private army is quelling civilian riots, but the Army's elite will protect the Missile Command Center. Push through, take control, and Kadamimu will be ours. I'll leave the planet immediately, Lord Malgus. Be prepared for my signal. The fleet is assembling. When you are finished, it will be ready to secure the system. I guess it's pronounced Katamimu. Like, like, like a cow. It's a strange name. Katamimu. It's, every time I refer to it in the future, it's going to be Cattywampus. Well, Katamimu and Cattywampus. I think I take Cattywampus over Katamimu. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think you guys are just reading too much of this. <laughs> Gotta find your entertainment someplace, man. These uh, droids are a pain. Uh, the ones do they the... do something extra special? No, they've got a They're lot of hit points. Beastly. Beautiful.
like literally chipping away at a rock with a spoon. Seriously. Uh oh, I'm getting a warning from my headphones saying that they're almost out of power. Well, that's lovely. There we go. Sorry about the delay there. And moving on. Clapping for you. <laughs> Can we skip this guy if we wait for the elevator to come up and slide in? I guess it's worth a shot, huh? <laughs> Oops. Wow, this goes down a long ways. Yeah. Uh, at least it goes up real fast. You gotta yeah, get on it and take it, it and bring it down. Or he'll meet us at the bottom, dead. He's definitely fighting, you can tell that. Oh, did you take the elevator back down? No, he did not. He did not. Bye, guys. Should we go up and help? Yeah, I'm already on my way up. I jumped up. Oh, crap, it, he's I'm gonna sorry. die. No, it's okay. He died. But he gave it a valiant go. Well, I'll come up on the next the next time. Go. Probably don't really need me now. I do my part. <laughs> it happens. If that had been any other mob, he would have wrecked it. Right? Just happened to be one of those big super... Don't really hit too hard droids, but man, they got a lot of hit points. Uh... Dude, I almost had my push cooldown on our back. I think we can skip a lot of these guys down here too if we uh, maneuver, right? Works for me. My fellow citizens, the coming days will be difficult. You will hear lies about civil unrest, about attacks on our soil, but our world you should be able is to push that guy over. Not just by our arsenal. But the Academy and God patrols the streets to keep you safe. Haha. <laughs> nice. That was a good push. Save us a good minute there. Yeah. Ooh, this is the bar fight, isn't it? I wasn't aware there was a bar fight. It's a bar fight. We're going to get into a bar fight. Yeah, it sounds good. They might have changed it. Where'd the bar fight go? They took the bar fight away. Oh, that's sad. Maybe it's a backroom bar fight. My 
people do not listen to the lies on the Holonet. There are no riots in the mercantile district. Slicing and the for the win, huh? batteries are perfectly safe. Yeah. Sierra. Yeah. Kind of sounds like Huey Long. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> crap, pull back into this room. He's got the droid in here. <laughs> oh, crap. Duck around the corner. Pop my cooldown. Well, that was messy, but it worked, right? Yes, it did. <sighs> We're all alive, so that's what counts. Yeah, for some reason she's getting all the little weaks, not the strongs or anything like that. All the little weak guys seem to want to shoot at super. I know, it's really annoying. Alright, it's you the want cop to heal up there? Yeah. Uh you wanna explain this? Remember this fight? I remember, I just can't explain it for garbage. Okay, um, he's gonna go in there and he's gonna tank Duder, the little guy. And this mode, if he kills him, it'll take out the big droid. The big droid is gonna fixate on somebody and follow them around. And there's gonna be reticles that are gonna appear on the ground. Just stay out of the reticles. 
and don't and, let the uh, droid catch you. Yeah, if he catches you, he freezes you in place. You stay out of the reticles, and you want to pull the droid into the reticles. It, when you pull him into him, it cages him, and you'll be able to beat on him. Oh, okay. But if he All catches right. you, he arrests you, and if you step in the reticles, he arrests you. Beautiful. And whatever you do, don't bring him to me. Lovely. Are you guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. Well, when they spawn right on top of you, that's just not fair. There's like no running at all when they spawn right on top of you. Spawn points can eat crap. Reset. <laughs> that was a nice, interesting little glitch there. Little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Bring him over here. Ah, oh, you got me! So there's just no way to escape that big red circle, is there? <laughs> God, bloody hell! That was sloppy as hell, but it works too. It worked. You get one reticle on you and you're targeted. You can't get off it. Okay, yeah, that's what I realized. You can pop your stun breaker if you get caught, but now that's what I did. And since I have two stun breakers being a PvP tank, uh, I was able to get out of it twice. Gotcha. Okay, we're cheating and taking the slicer. Uh, He's basically stealing a cop car right now. Works instead, for me, dude. Instead of taking the normal speeder, he's we're stealing a cop car. I dig it. As long as I'm not in the back seat with my in handcuffs, I'm okay with it. Yeah, not a not a fun place to be. Fellow citizens, some of you have questioned the makeup of the Kadamiman Guard. You ask, why have we recruited off-worlders? But I say, if a man like General Otto wants to fight for our planet, it would be selfish way. to deny him that privilege. Not that way. Dude, is that guy talking like the Martin Luther King of this world? What the heck? He's the governor. <sighs> Brian's not allowed to watch this video. We can't let Beacon watch the video. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? You'll you'll see when we get to the next boss. 
Uh-oh. Go ahead. Jump him. We got a droid coming in. Definitely tell we're getting tired because uh, we're getting really sloppy. <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was more just the fact that none of us has done either. We haven't done this or haven't done it in forever. Yeah, try to pitch him. Good, nice throw. Slide around the corner. Yeah, Beacon would be, he's gonna be really mad when he sees this fight. It'll get, give him something to rail about on the fourth. You see what he is, right? Wookie. Oh yeah, poor V Kambaka. All right. Uh, He's you, gonna make a nice rug. Yeah. <laughs> you fight this guy. He does a lot of flamethrower. He's got a giant flamethrower. He calls a bunch of Ugak, or Ugak, the little short piggy guys with big wrenches. Uh, I pick them up, take them over to him, and use him to flamethrower them down, and then he kills them all, we hope. Okay. I expect a tribute video from B. Kambaka after this one. Well, what's his name? Grimmike? Grimmick? Grimmicky? Grimmick. I say Grimmick. I say throw rug. Alright, you guys ready? Ready. Let's burn that rug. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, that wasn't but so we bad. Well, you if you keep... The problem is if they, uh, the little piggy guys get away, they hit pretty hard and they kind of run amok. Gotcha. Cannons with their knockdown. You ready? Knockdown, yes. knock back, knock away at all.
keep in a couple of friends in that pool there, Super. I always do. They like the outfit, what can I say? Mm, or maybe okay. they hate my hair. Well, you know, you could always get the pigtails. Duh! Oh, the late no bars. Hey, whoa, whoa, there's a boss here. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's Not it. this one. Uh, uh, that, that sucks we don't get any of the bonus bosses. I know. Maybe you have to be on challenge mode for that? Uh, master mode? Uh, that or Why you do have I keep to be. I calling it. I don't know. That or maybe you have to be level. All of us have to be level 70. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. This you have is to be a in the other big mode. elevator. I'm not doing the run to the end. I don't know what that is. Uh, if you have a thick enough tank, he can, uh, take and pick up aggro and run all the way through to the end. And just pull them all the way to the end and everybody just runs behind him. And when you get to the final boss, they all reset and go back. Dang. But... Yeah, I don't like doing that because it feels cheesy to me. Yeah, it's well, it's cheating, definitely the system. But no, no, I don't it's know. not cheating. It's tricking, tricking it's the exploiting. system. Exploiting. Yes. It's very cheesy to me. I'm going in. Today, Julia. God, I love being a juggernaut. No comment. I've never played one. <laughs> Again, no comment. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna pull everything in the hallway. Purposely? No. Okay. I found Brand. There were some mistakes made. Cool down. There's just something wrong with this picture.
Huh? See, I beg to differ on that being the dark side choice. Yeah. Yes. I am launching missiles at the Republic fleet. Okay. Or I could launch all of these missiles at a uninhabited moon, destroy the moon, which is going to throw off all the tidal forces of this planet, cause an extinction level event, and kill every person on the planet. Right. They probably just didn't think that through logically, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. It makes sense to me. Mm, fireworks. Pretty burning pubs. On the 4th of July. Very early 4th of July. Alright, this is the last boss. Yeah, this guy is kind of obnoxious. Uh, it's basically a tank and spank for the most part. You just got to make sure you're not in. It's going to randomly throw down, you know, burners. There's four corners of the room, right? And three corners of the room are going to get blasted. Look above you. Yeah, you look up and you're going to say they're going to get blasted with uh, the engine wash from the, the rockets that are above us. And then I don't know Fun if he stuff. I don't know if he does the maglocks in in veteran mode, but if he gets maglocks on, he doesn't do the maglocks. Well, if you do get handcuffed to the ground, just say I'm maglocks, so somebody can run over the top of you and unlock you. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Usually, where I'm standing is the start point. Yep. Going in. I fought in the war, you piece of trash! You think I'm afraid now? Nice, they highlight it for us. Just don't go over there, stay over here. Back to the other corner. Back over here. Here. 
move back to the other corner. Defenses are disengaging, and we've got the governor's shuttle on scanners. We'll take it from here. All right, back to the Imperial fleet. Let's see what Malgus has to say to you guys for exactly. completing Cattywampus. That's gonna be its new name. Catamimu. At least you're not calling it Caddy Emu. Love the chills. I'm coming. Sorry, it takes me a while to log out. I've returned from Katamina. It's always that What's exit our status? lag. I don't the know what it is, man. Our fleet was able to bombard the planet's surface without incident. The first troops are landing, and the Republic arsenal has been confiscated. The war chest of the Outer Rim is no more. The Republic military can't be happy. I'm surprised they didn't land troops before we did. Their ships were in system when you took control of the batteries. But they weren't willing to start a war when they knew they'd lose the battle. We've also apprehended Katamimu's governor and scheduled his public execution. His successor will be given the opportunity to lead the planet into a new era, or else pay for its association with the Republic. Really? Man, By fun. one freaking point? In any case, our business is done. Yeah. Yep, yep. Until the next opportunity. Well, everybody, that was Katamimu, Katiwampus, Katamu, whatever, on uh, veteran mode. Uh, brought to you by all your friends at Ballast Corp. <laughs> so does everybody want to say good night? Say good night. Night. Happy Fourth of July, people. Good night, guys. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, just like, say hello to all your friends out there, and come on back again. Uh, you know, talk to you later. Oh, what's the line? Uh, super. Stay nerdy out there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>